Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Drive API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive API to move files. All right, so here I have uh, three folders, but I'll be mainly using uh, the source folder and the target folder. If I go into my source folder, inside this folder, I have a list of files and a folder. I only want to move all the files to my target folder and to move files, I'll be using the files resource and the update method. Now let me go to my code editor and here's the script to create the Google Drive API service instance. I'll start by creating my source folder ID variable. I'm going to grab the source folder ID and assign that to that variable. So here in the URL, I'm going to grab the uh, folder ID. And I'll create another variable called target folder ID variable. And I'll grab the target folder ID. And I'll assign the folder ID to the target folder ID variable. Next, I need to create my query string. And the condition is going to be parents is equals to source folder ID. Oh, and I need to uh, change the single quotation to double quotation. And I need to wrap my placeholder with uh, single quotations. Now I need to list all the files inside my source folder. So I'll insert my service object dot files that list. I'm going to insert my query that execute. And I'll name the output as response. In case if there are multiple pages, I'm going to uh, make sure that I capture all the files. So I'll create a files list. I'll insert my response object that gets. I want to grab the uh, items from the files key. And here I'm going to grab the next page token if it is available. And I'm going to insert while loop to uh, capture all the files. So I'm going to say that while next page token is now none, I want to continue to uh, run the files that list method. I need to uh, provide the next page token to the page token parameter. I want to append the items to the files object. And this should be extend not append. And this is going to be the next page token ID. Right, so once we have all the files, we can iterate each file in the files list. So I'm going to insert loop 4f in files. I'm going to check the my type since I don't want to uh, move the folder. So if the my type is not equals to, here let me grab the the Google Drive for the my type ID. And it's this one right here. Then I want to move the file. So I'll type service.files.update. And I need to provide the file ID first. and the folder where I want to move to. If you want to move the files to the uh, main folder, which is the Google Drive folder, then you don't need to provide the add parents parameter. But since I want to move the files from one folder to a different folder, so I need to include the add parents parameter. 
am going to assign the target for the ID. And I need to remove the open from the file. So insert the remove parents parameter. It goes to source uh, for the ID. And that's it. Right. So if I save and run the script, it looks like the test is complete. Now if I go to my Google Drive, and here are all the files on the source folder. Now let me just go into my source folder just to make sure that all the files got removed. All right, so it looks like everything is removed. So this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.